Hello, welcome to Ludic Science. The other day I found this kitchen alarm at the dollar store, very, very cheap, so I couldn't resist buying it in order to see how it works and maybe use the mechanism for a future project. As you can see, it's very simple. You turn the cap to the selected time. You can uh, select from 1 to 60 minutes and when the dial goes to zero, it sounds an alarm. I have an idea of how this works. It must have some kind of clockwork mechanism inside. You can hear the tick-tock. However, it will be interesting to dismantle it and see in detail how the mechanism works. So, let's see. Next time you need a PCB for your electronics project, consider using the professional services of JLC PCB. JLC PCB is the world leader in PCB fabrication. You can order online. You just need to register, upload your Gerber file, and wait a few days for your PCBs at an unbeatable price. With this gear, you can wind up the mechanism. It fits here. And then you can rotate and wind the mechanism. But now let's take apart these screws in order to see what's inside. Okay, so the mechanism is practically identical to that of a clock. Here you can see the mechanism of a real clock. It is the same principle. We have here, when you wind up the mechanism, what you do is that you wind a spring that is here at the center of the mechanism. Here you can see the spring. This is the main spring where the energy is stored. And then the spring moves a set of gears. You have several gears, one after another, and that is needed to reduce the speed and make the movement very slow. You need the cap to turn a complete turn in one hour. So it is a very slow movement. That is the reason that you need several gears. And the other feature that is needed in a clockwork mechanism is the escapement. Here you can see that this is 
uh, this has a rotating movement it goes from one side to the other it is oscillating and this is the escapement the escapement is needed in order to provide a constant period of time here in my channel i have several videos of different types of escapements that i've made uh, in different occasions i leave the links in the description of the of the of this video if you want to check how an escapement works but as i said before the the escapement is needed in order to provide a constant period of time here we can see the main spring and as i commented before when you wind up the mechanism what you do is that the spring is wound up and the energy is stored but we need all the set of gears because without the gears and the escapement if you release now all the energy will be released in a fraction of a second instead of slowly as the mechanism must work what i can see is the bell that emits the sound when the mechanism reaches time zero so i will continue to disassemble in order to find the bell and also to see more clearly the different components Whoops. Okay, the main spring unwounded widely, so it will be difficult to put it again, but not impossible. And uh, here you can see all the different uh, gears that compose the mechanism. This one corresponds, this is the flywheel of the escapement. Here you can see we have another spring that permits the, the motion from one side to the other. And this little fork here that is also a part of the escapement mechanism. As I mentioned before, you can check my videos on escapements in order to see how this piece uh, works and understand how it works in a better way and for the bell okay here we have this little hammer here this piece of metal when the mechanism reaches the zero time it moves in this fashion to the outside and it makes contact with this metal part and emits the sound Okay, so I have satisfied my curiosity. We now can see the inside of the little mechanism and all its parts. That's all for today. I hope you liked the video. Thanks for visiting my channel and see you in the next one.